But I got into tea at a really young age. I guess I was about about 10 when I decided I was going to drink loose leaf tea and I wanted to drink it from a teapot and a teacup and saucer, so proper tea. I still don't really know why, but it was definitely started very young and I started buying loose leaf tea and collecting teaware. And then when I finished high school, I went to Japan for a year and I was teaching English and I studied the Japanese tea ceremony while I was there for a year and I achieved the first level license. So there's eight levels and it's quite a, it can be quite a lifetime achievement to study the tea ceremony, but that got me even more into tea and into tea culture. Most tea drunk in the UK comes from abroad. We do actually have two tea plantations in, in the UK, one in Tregothnan in Cornwall and one in Scotland, but they produce a very small quantity of tea and it's very special and expensive. But most of the tea that we drink comes from India and also from China, Taiwan, Japan and other parts of the world. So the key elements for brewing any tea, English tea or any tea from around the world, is the correct water temperature, the correct time and giving the leaves as much space to brew as possible. If you do this, then you'll have a good cup of tea. So traditional English tea is brewed in a large teapot, so you make sure your proportion of leaves, your temperature and your time are correct. At the moment in London, there's a trend towards knowing where your foods come from, knowing how it's been made and who's made it. And definitely in tea, we can see this as well, where people want to know that the tea has been picked by hand, that it's come directly from the estate or the plantation, and that there's, it's been processed naturally and carefully. Tea is a great accompaniment to food and this is something I work on a lot and we hold a number of classes in London where we teach people about pairing food with tea. One of my favourite and one of the most unusual pairings is cheese and tea. So cheeses work, work really well with tea and you can pair them but you have to pair individual tea with an individual cheese. You can't say all black tea goes with this cheese. It's individual pairings and then it's spectacular. Afternoon tea is becoming really popular. Um, almost every hotel in London has an afternoon tea. A lot of restaurants now serve afternoon tea as well. So it's gone from being something that was old fashioned and out of date to being something that is cool and trendy to do. And afternoon tea can now be very expensive. You can pay up to 70, 80, 100 pounds for one person for afternoon tea now. So using tea to make a cocktail is really interesting and like I was talking about with the food, it's about using specific teas for their specific flavours and their specific properties. So something like the Beef Eater 24 uses specific um, botanical compounds from different teas to create the particular flavour of the gin. Using tea in a cocktail, so there's different ways you can do this. You can infuse the tea into the alcohol, so for example taking gin, adding tea leaves and then leaving it to sit for hours or sometimes days and then you get a tea flavoured alcohol. You can also make a syrup out of the tea. So make a tea, reduce it down and then add sugar to make a syrup and use this to flavour a cocktail. Um, and then the last way would be to make an iced or cold tea and then use that like a mixer. But again it's about getting the right tea with the right alcohol to make the perfect cocktail.